Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of comparing fractions. This is standard 4.3D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 26 of the 2023 release to star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we are comparing fractions, because we need to find a fraction greater than 1 and 4 ninths. Now, one thing about that is that that is an improper, or it needs to be an improper fraction. That'd be helpful, because everything else is an improper fraction. We have a mixed number here. So let's change this into a mixed number. Now, what's the shortcut here? Well, the shortcut here is you multiply the whole number by the denominator. So 1 times 9 equals 9, and then you add the 4 left over, 9 plus 4 makes 13 ninths. The reason I know that is because this 1 is a whole, 9 ninths is a whole, and I'm doing ninths because I want to keep the denominator the same, right? So you can just add it like that. All right, so I need to find something greater than 13 ninths. The only one I can really eliminate is A. I know 13 ninths is equal to 13 ninths, but I want one that's greater. 13 ninths. So these other ones are difficult because I need to have common denominators. Can't really compare fractions if the denominators aren't equal. All right, so let's look at B. How are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to list out my sixes and I'm going to list out my nines, right? And I want to find a number. Oh, look at that. 18. I need to change them both into eighteenths. Okay, so let's see. 11 sixths times something, it's going to get me to the 18th. 6 times 3, so that's going to be 11 times 3. Always keep the denominator and the numerator the same to make an equivalent fraction when you're multiplying, so that's 33 18ths. Let's do the same thing with my 13 ninths. 13 ninths times something is going to get me 18. It's going to be 2, so that's 2. 26. Hey, look, 33 18ths is greater than 26 eighteenths, which means this one is greater. So I'm thinking, thinking it's that one. But let's double check. Now I need to get elevenths and ninths. Wow, what is going to be a common factor for elevenths and ninths? You know what? It's not going to be anything easier than just 99. So let's just change each of those into 90 ninths. All right. Sometimes you could just, when you're looking at that, you could just multiply the two denominators. Okay, so 13. 11 times something is going to get me to 90 ninths. That's a strange denominator. So that's going to be 11 times 9. you got to know your facts. Okay, 13 times 9. Don't know what that is. That's going to be 27, 1, ooh, 7, oh, 117. There we go. 117. Now let's take my 13 ninths times something. Gets me 99. Right, that's 11. So now i got to do 13 times 11. It's 2 by 2, but that's easy. I'm just going to write it as 13, a 0, and another 13, 143. Oh, look at that. 117 is less than 143. And I'm looking for one that's greater. All right, so it's not that one, which is fine because I think it's B. Let's check our D. Need to find common denominators. Now... If I list out my threes, look at this, three, six, nine. I can make this four-thirds go into nine here, and my thirteen ninths is already nine, so I only got to change one. So sometimes you only have to change one, and that's fine. I'm going to take my four-thirds and multiply it by something to get me up to ninths. Three times what makes nine? That's three, so I'm going to make that a three, because you always want this to equal one. 4 times 3 is 12. All right, so 12 ninths, and then remember I had 13 ninths, right? That's the original. And 12 ninths is less than 13 ninths. Barely, but it's less than. So I don't want this less than. I don't want this less than. I don't want this equal. This one is just equal, right? I do want this greater than. So we were correct. My answer here is going to be B, 11 sixths.